Hi all, well it's great to be with you again for this next instalment from 1 Corinthians 13. And today we look at another love always. Last time we looked at love always trusts. Today we're going to look at the last of the love always. Love always perseveres. And as we see in the scripture, it's right at the end where we see love always Love always trusts, love always hopes, and love always perseveres. And I think with perseverance, we see that God perseveres with us. When Jesus was here on earth, when he was hanging on the cross, before his last breath, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they've done. He went through that. He went through all that pain. He persevered through all the pain. And he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And as we consider that, we see that God shows his love in all these aspects that we're going through. And he wants us to live the same way. So how are you persevering in love? Are you persevering through loss? Are you persevering through grief? Are you persevering with someone? who everyone else has given up on. But you're persevering with them. See, that's what persevering is. It's never giving up. Are there aspects in your friendships and relationships where things frustrate and annoy you about someone else? Whether it be a workplace or a home, but you persevere in love, you don't give up on them. That's what God is asking us to do. Love always, not sometimes. It always perseveres. I'll leave that with you. And hopefully that's something that is a reminder for you going forward. Not to give up. Not to give up in love. I hope you have a great day. Whatever time you're watching it. And uh, I'll catch you next time.